Hi, I know this is supposed to be one sentence, but rules never bother me. Ha. Huh? Uh, so my message to feminists, anti-feminists, atheists, and social justice activists is. When I stop listening, you lose the debate. You see, your goal has always been to convince people something. So if in one way or another they stop listening, you fail to do just that. And you waste your time, you waste theirs, and maybe you create more hostility towards each other and make the job even more difficult to be done. So it's like a lose-lose situation. Uh, I came to this idea when today I was talking to someone who believes in astrology. She asked what my sign is and failed to guess it for like three times in a row. I was like, oh jeez, and said to her, astrology is such an insult to science. And then she just don't really want to talk to me anymore. At first I was like, fine, you don't want to talk to me, whatever. Your loss. But then I changed my mind. Like, what was I doing? Make her look like an idiot? Yeah, that's gonna help her change her mind because everyone just loves being called an idiot. And we all know when people are offended, they're just so open to criticism, all oh, ears, and that. Like, how is any of this going to help me achieve my goal of stopping this bullshit known as astrology? And if people stop listening, I failed. Maybe I felt better for blowing off some steam, but that's just incredibly sad and narcissistic. I could have said something better, like, say it's true our signs affect our personality, but don't you think it's a bit unfair that people get judged by the sign they are born with? Because everyone changed through their lives, you know? I think we shouldn't just let what we are dictate how we turn out to be. We should all aim for the better. For example, I am a, an attention-seeking narcissist because I have no friend when I was a kid and my mom died and all that. Well, well, actually, maybe not the childhood experience, the, the last part. That, that, that is a bit scary. But yeah, like, I'm, I'm probably not going to come up with that on the spot. So it's kind of in hindsight. Anyway, now I think maybe it's better to start not with all the experiments that prove astrology is completely bullshit, but something in the opposite, like what have we learned in the realm of psychology and neuroscience and stuff and how those things affect our personality and how our culture affects our personality. Because after you have all those ideas in mind, maybe it's not that important that you have to ask people's zodiac sign every time you see them, because there's other things you could ask now, like, what is your field of study and why? That's my favorite question, because it tells me whether someone is passionate in their life or not, and it, it gave you some common ground to talk with. So think of it, guys. You might have your victory based on your reason, and logic, and science and stuff, and it's great for academia, but in real life, if you fail to communicate your point and turn people off, no matter how much sense your point makes, did you really win? Did you really do something meaningful? Or did you just like enjoy in whatever you believe already? When you call a Christian dumb as shit, when you say feminism is cancer, or when you call a racist, misogynist, insert your minority group name here, phobic, on someone who don't think they are, all they hear is an insult. They don't hear a point unless they are super rational. But let's just admit that, even the best of us have emotional moments. So thanks for watching. If it made you think, leave a comment in the towel section and share with your someone who you think this might help. Or maybe you think I'm stupid, then you can share with someone who you're going to laugh at me together. Like, haha, dumb 26-year-old virgin got rejected by another girl and tried to blow steam on us. That's cool, too. So bye-bye and DFTBA.